uh, Professor Anyang Nyongo from the city of London, Kisumu County. Thank you very much, my brother James Mwai. Mama Naomi and the family, right honorable Prime Minister and all leaders gathered here today, I will be very brief. I'm going to say two things. One is about our brother Nyangaramo. Sometimes in 2018, when we had just come from Kakamega, the Evolution Conference, we were in Acacia Hotel with James Ongwai and uh, Nyangaramo. Ongwai came to me and told me that Governor Nyangaramo wanted to talk to me uh, in his room. So we went along to his room and uh, we had a candid discussion with the governor. The governor said he wanted to consult me because he, like me, was suffering from prostate cancer. And since in 2010 I'd gone through the same thing, he wanted me to give him some advice what to do. And I assured him, governor, prostate cancer is not a death sentence. Uh, there's something we must share. I will call my doctor in California, introduce you to him. We can talk to him on the phone and you will go there and you will be treated. Because there's something about Kenyans which is awful, I must say. Kenyans like to gossip about people's sickness. It's a very bad manners. <laughs> sickness is natural, diseases can be cured, and you can get well and live like anybody else. Governor Janagarama went to this Helen Dilla Comprehensive Cancer Care Center, University of California, San Francisco, where I was treated. And he was treated by my doctor, Professor Mark Roche, a black American, who is the only authority in the world best known for treating prostate cancer. And when you are treated in that hospital, the last day you ring a bell, which is a signal that you are okay. And Prof. Roach will tell you, you go out, no, you are treated. If you have any problem, come back and see me. Ngamana Nyangarama used to go back like I did. And I know that John Obiero Nyangarama was a very healthy man, very frequently taking his medical examinations to make sure that nothing goes wrong and nothing went wrong. Professor Roach also told us that after I have dealt with you, you will die of any other disease but not prostate cancer. And therefore, when I heard that the governor had passed on, I was very pained because we share something in common. Maybe the season of God to harvest, but I'm asking God, please go slow. It is becoming too much. This coronavirus thing is becoming too much. But let me say one last thing. When I was a kid in a Christian family, we used to be told that Jesus died and he conquered death. And he actually rose from the dead and flew to heaven on his wings. And my mother told me that those who are believers in Christ will also fly to heaven. So whenever somebody died in the village, I used to go there after two or three days and find out, has this man woken up and gone to heaven on his wings? I never saw anything like that. But here in this song, we find song telling us, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll call is called yonder, I'll be there. Will I be there because I've flown there or because I've died? I think death is a very cruel thing which robbed us of love, love, love wonderful people like, like John. And I wish God was faithful enough just to give us wings and fly 
so that we don't go like this. In fact, I used to fear as a kid that when I woke up, I thought my mother was a very good Christian, might have flown at nine and gone to heaven. <laughs> but she never did. Finally, she passed on at the age of 99, and I hope she has flown to heaven, where we shall all go with John Nyangarama. Buona Yesu was Uh My chair of the Council of Governors, Dr. Wycliffe Ambessa Oparanya, if you can now come and talk on behalf of all the other governors who are not here, please come and talk from here.